Well, didn't get on the trail today because uh, it rained. And truthfully, I don't want to get wet unless I have to um, when I'm on my trip, which I'm probably going to get wet quite a bit. So I just thought we'd take a brief moment and uh, go over some backpacking gear that uh, it's taken me years to kind of develop this stuff. And each trip is different. Each trip I add to the list, just a couple things. Uh, one thing you want is your backpack uh, checklist. You know, in here I have the weight. Uh, I have two checkbox. Uh, you sometimes, you know, I'm packing with somebody, so I'm checking their stuff and I'm checking my stuff because usually you've got stuff in their pack that both of you are going to use, and then you've got stuff in your pack that both of you are going to use. And you know, you don't need to be redundant on a lot of stuff. Uh, but uh, and then also I have the weight in here. You know, one of the things that you're going to want to do for backpacking because it makes you think about every item that you put in your pack. Is get your scale. Scale in grams and ounces. I prefer grams. Uh, it's more accurate. Why in the world the United States is still uh, using uh, ounces rather than the metric system is uh, something for the rest of the world yeah. to laugh at us about. So you how good I am at this. It's my third try at making this doggone video. I'm getting tired of doing it. Stupid clicker. Every time I hear it beep, I think it's recording. Anyway, we're just going to get into uh, a couple items here. The cooking pot. Painted black, supposed to heat up a little quicker. Got the handles, uh, titanium, lightweight. Guess what you're gonna want. This is the smaller one. It also comes with a bigger pot. If you get the, you're gonna want to get the whole cook set. Um, so that takes care of that. So, you know, in the cooking pot, you know, I, before I would have just pulled everything out, but I'll just show you what's in there. This is your rag. Uh, it also is a banana bandana. You know, why carry a rag? You know, everything you want in your backpack has got to be dual purpose. Dual purpose. So if I want, you know, I've used it as a rag, wipe my face, wash it off in the water, put it on, cool off. There you go. Uh, trash bag, you know, of course this won't stay in the cooking pot, but I keep it in there because the first thing you're going to do when you're done eating everything is load up a trash bag. Remember to leave nothing left behind, nothing left behind. Uh, coffee, got to have coffee in there. Cooking spork, this is the only utensil you need. Uh, I love watching them videos that uh, Steve does on YouTube. I don't know if you're familiar with them. If you're, if you're a backpacker, you probably, <laughs> it's called cam Camping with Steve, man. I love that guy. And uh, he's he's always got all this stuff, you know, and he's gonna mix a meal and he's brought rice and he's gonna cook, I don't know, fish or whatever, you know. Anyway, I don't do all that. You know, I just heat up the water and I got the mountain house and you just add it in there and uh, into the bag and eight minutes later, you got a meal. Uh, emergency, man. Mandatory, good vitamins, uh, 100,000, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, you know, when I was younger, I'd carry uh, some Everclear. You know, it maximized. Everything in the backpack is maximized. So Everclear, you know, what is that, 180 proof or something like that. You know, just a splash will do you. And, uh, you know, you're only carrying water. You're not carrying pop or beer or something like that. It weighs too much. So, you know, you, you're going to throw one of these in there and, man, you just kick back that Everclear and watch the sunset. Life don't get no better than that. I'm going to tell you that right now. These are waterproof matches. Got to have them. Um, you know, sometimes it's wet. It's damp. It's nasty. You know, if you gotta, if you got to get a little fire going, you know, it's good to have some hand sanitizer, you know. You get out there, you're going to be filthy. You know, you, you got to use that. You know, put some hand sanitizer on, wipe your hands with this. Boom, you're ready to go. You're ready to eat. Um, I'm not, this isn't going in the backpack, but I didn't want to show you. I'm going to be taking my bike with me on this trip, you know, and uh, I used to always just, I'd wear clothes like this when I went biking until I went with Wounded Warrior Project down to Key West, and uh, they gave me this beautiful swag. You know, it's nice. You got the gel in here, and uh, you don't wear underwear or anything. These, these things keep you nice and cool, so you can, you can ride in some, some heavy-duty weather. I wanted to show you the rest of the swag. I thought, this is pretty cool. This is the Warrior, the Warrior shirt, so... Uh, with the U-Haul advertisement. <laughs> Good to have sponsors. Um, I want to get into the clothing here real quick. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, a lot of backpackers would tell you, you know, hey man, minimize weight, minimize weight. You know, so they just sleep on the ground. They don't care, you know. Um, I'll give you two stories about that. But one is uh, I do carry a, a little air mattress. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. Um, it does add weight in the pack and look how much room that's going to take. Uh, but uh, one particular trip, uh, it rained. It rained so hard. My tent was swimming. I mean, I was floating. 
and uh, that was at Al Royal. It rained all night long, just, just pow, you know, I never knew a thunderstorm could last for hours and hours. Those Lake Superior storms are just, well, you seem to, you heard about the Edmund Fitzgerald, well, there's a reason it went down. Um, but this thing kept me up, just, you know, just this high off the ground, and so when the tent, you know, when I had water everywhere, uh, it kept, I was able to stay dry, you know, in the sleeping bag. Uh, get into the sleeping bag. <clears throat> you know, this is a 20, 20 degree sleeping bag. You know, attempts this time, uh, what I carry is a, a silk blanket, and the silk blanket doubles for two things. Uh, well, it's actually a silk tube, but it's, it, I use it as a blanket. Um, what you can do is you can put your, your sleeping bag in that uh, silk tube if it's a cold night. Gives you another about five degrees, you know, of warmth that you wouldn't have because you don't want to pack that, that big sleeping bag. And you know, if you know, you know, you don't store this sleeping bag like this. You compress it down to this size. You don't leave it for more than a week. You know, you always want to expand it out. Otherwise, you're not going to get that uh, that uh, warmth. Uh, also, the silk blanket, of course, in the summertime, you just put this down, and this is your uh, uh, mattress, and then you just lay on top of it with the sleep silk blanket. Uh, walking stick, man. A lot of guys say I added weight. Why? Why do you want a walking stick? Well, this thing saved my life. Um, plus, when you're going up, you know, steep inclines or going down steep inclines, you know, I'm old, man, 57. So I say old. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there going, man, you ain't old. What the hell? But uh, you know, when I get on them steep inclines, I got to be real careful. And uh, one particular trip, I was going up a, a huge uh, incline, and I lost my balance. And uh, luckily I whipped around with this and I caught myself. And uh, if I hadn't, I would have tumbled down this rock face. Uh, probably would have killed me. I mean, you know, and, and so this thing, it saved my life. You know, on another trip, just real quick story, was uh, that, that, that same Isle Royal trip where it rained all night. Well, that washed out the, uh, the log bridge. Um, and the water, you know, was about, you know, you couldn't see where you were putting your feet. So, you know, if you were just going through there with your boots or just, uh, uh, well, of course you wouldn't have your boots on. I'm, I'll show you my stream shoes. Uh, but you gotta be real careful though, as you could wedge your, your, your foot down in between them logs. So I had to use this to poke around to figure out where to put my feet. Same thing when you cross on the beaver dam. Sometimes these trails, you, get, you, you cross some really crazy stuff. Beaver dam, man, you gotta be real careful because if you put your foot in the wrong place, you're, 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 you're going down to your thigh, you know, right down into the dam. Um, and you know you could you could rip a wound or rip something open, so you know use this to figure out where to put your feet. So I I, uh, I highly recommend carrying a, a stick, even though it's added weight. Unless you know it's just going to be a flat trail and you know you're not going to encounter anything, then then you don't need it. Um, pants, real quick. Let's go over those. Um, you know these you want them real comfortable. You know uh, the fabric uh, breathable. Uh, I used to go with the two piece. You had the zip on. Uh, legs. Uh, I, I don't do that anymore. The, the zippers are real flimsy. Uh, they're hard to, to operate. I have yet to see a pair that I you know, like the zipper on. I imagine if they did make the zipper, it'd be too much weight. Uh, but you do want to make sure all pockets on the pants are zippers. Okay, because if, once you get something in this pocket, you know, you lose something on the trail, you're done, man. You ain't gonna see it again. You lose your headlamp, you ain't got light the whole rest of the trip. You're doing an eight day trip, 10 day trip. You know, you're screwed. So I always recommend the zipper pockets on everything and the one piece. And then, of course, you want to get them too long. You know, I'm a short guy, so there ain't a pair of pants on earth that ain't too long for me. But, uh, you know, some of these taller guys, make sure you get them too long because then you're going to want to boot blossom around that boot. So you get them on there. That'll keep the bugs out, you know, as you're hiking because, you know, a lot of times the ticks want to get on you, chiggers, that type of thing. You know, these kind of make you uh, invincible. Um... I guess that'll be it for now. We'll get into, oh, yeah, what, what the hell, let's go ahead and cover the bug netting. A lot of guys don't want to carry bug netting. Don't get it, man. Man, when the mosquitoes are out, you know, this stuff's golden. And uh, if you buy that Sawyer uh, clothing treatment, you know, I soak my bud, and this has already been soaked. I soak this in, in the uh, Sawyer, and that even, that even gives you an added layer of protection against the bugs. And uh, even, even, you know, most of the time when you're backpacking, you might be camping a night or two, too. So when you want to sit at that picnic table and be comfortable and enjoy your meal, you don't want the mosquitoes biting on you. Um, so yeah, you know, and I go with the full out, full outfit because uh, I'm expecting a lot of bugs this trip. And, and uh, man, I see guys hiking without this stuff, and I think, God, I, you know, West Nile, I guess, don't mean anything to them because uh, they got to be getting bit, got to be. Anyway, let's see if a clicker will work. If it won't, then I, mean, I guess I'll just come back later.